We're still talking about weight in measurement, and now we're talking about pounds. This is lesson 8.7. We can weigh ourselves and we can see how many pounds we are, can't we? And these two cookies, they're less than one pound. Four sticks of butter is about one pound. And this bag of flour, well, that's more than a pound. In fact, if we look at the bottom right here, we can see it says it's five pounds. So yeah, that's more than a pound. So keep in mind that a box with four sticks of butter in it is about one pound, okay? It's about one pound for four sticks of butter. Now the abbreviation for pound is LB. It's a lowercase L and a lowercase B. For pounds, it would be LBS. We have a couple of different types of scales. This is called a spring dial scale. There's a spring inside of here, behind the dial, inside the box. And when you put things on top here, the basket will go down because of the springs. And then this dial will move around and tell you how much it weighs, whatever you put in there. In the digital scale, we just put it on top here, and that tells us the pounds, and that tells us the ounces. Ounces are smaller than a pound. In fact, there's 16 ounces for each pound, but we're going to get into that in grade 4 math, okay? This is only grade 2 math, all right? So do these items weigh more or less than one pound? Does a pencil weigh more or less than one pound? Well, pencils are pretty light, aren't they? So if you said less, you're right. Do you think a dog would weigh more or less than one pound? Dogs can get pretty heavy, right? Even small dogs would be more than a pound. How about a lawnmower? Is a lawnmower more or less than one pound? Remember, one pound is about four sticks of butter. Yeah, lawnmowers are pretty heavy, aren't they? They got the engine and the gas tank and everything. And the blades. How about a candy bar? Do you think a candy bar would be more or less than a pound? And remember that a pound is about four sticks of butter. Well, if you said a candy bar is less, you're right. Okay, so let's read each of these spring scales to find the weight, and then we're going to write the weight to the nearest pound, okay? Whichever one the dial is the closest to. So when there's nothing on the spring scale, this dial would point to zero. So we're going to pretend there's something up here that is making the dial go to here. So about how many pounds is that? This is one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. We can see the dial is about two pounds, isn't it? It's pointing to about two pounds. How about this one? Is this dial pointing? Pretty close to the four pounds? Yeah, it is. So this would be about four pounds. How about this one? What's the nearest pound? Yeah, it would be a three, wouldn't it? It's not quite on the three, but that would be the nearest one. How about here? Now which is the nearest pound? Oh, look at that. This one was a little bit before the three, this one's a little bit after three, but three is still the nearest pound, isn't it? So that would, the nearest pound would be three pounds, okay? Let's try some critical thinking. Which do you think weighs more? A large basket of leaves or a small bucket of nails? Which one do you think would be heavier to carry? Have you ever jumped in leaves or carried a basket of leaves? Yeah, they don't weigh too much, right? It might be hard to carry the basket because the basket's big, but it doesn't weigh that much. It's not that heavy. And do you know why? Because there's a lot of air in there. We could smash these leaves down and make it smaller, couldn't we? So there's more mass in a bucket of nails. They're made out of steel. They're made out of metal, aren't they? So if you think that the bucket of nails weighs more, you're right. They're made out of metal, and they're a lot heavier, aren't they? There's a lot of air in that basket of leaves, okay? So there's more mass in the bucket of nails. It's heavier. All right? We're going to continue talking about weights, and we're going to talk about 
grams and kilograms next, okay? Those are metric weights. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.